Welcome everybody, Inner Solar 2025. We're at the Solus booth. We're doing our first Solus live stream here at B3. And it's going to be exciting for you because you don't even have to come to Inner Solar this year in Munich. You can just stay tuned to this live booth walkthrough. And I'm going to explain to you. Uh, I'm going to go through residential. I'm going to go through commercial. And we're going to do maybe a little utility. And then we have uh, a treat at the end of today. We're going to do um, an explanation walkthrough about AI. So first of all, let's start. Since we're in Germany, we're going to start off on the balcony inverter, right? This is a, a market. It's a small, interesting market. It's below 800 watts, as you can see. It's 0.8 kilowatts. It's got a full... Uh, string inverter MPPT built in. So it's not like a micro inverter. This is, it's is much simpler to use. So you can, it doesn't matter if you have one, two, three, four, five panels. You could string them and put them into the string. And it's got the built in Wi Fi. So you don't need anything external. So this is also spreading across Europe, Netherlands, France, potentially UK, Spain. So this is one of the very interesting products that we have in our portfolio. And next, we're going to move on to our brand new 2.5 to 6 kilowatt residential single phase smart. We call it a dash S for smart or slim because it's a little thinner uh, because we reduced the, the weight on this about three kilograms. So it's it's uh, nine kilograms for this for this baby. Uh, 60 amp inputs. And what's really cool about this is kind of like in the details is potentially or previously we used to have a version that was uh, either a CT version or a meter version. We've combined that together now, and you can either uh, source a CT or a meter version, and you can get consumption monitoring uh, on this inverter or export limiting, which is used in uh, most markets right now. Uh, moving on, this is basically just an increase from that. This is uh, actually also brand new, being released this year uh, in July, eight through 10 kilowatts single phase. It's the same thing as that, uh, except this one has 20 amp inputs and it has that new CT meter port on the, on the bottom, which gives you this export power limiting and also for the 24 seven load consumptions, which gives the customer the, the ability to see how much they're consuming and producing at the same time, which is what, what you want. And, um, one of the markets that this is for is mainly the UK, but we're seeing across Europe changes with the grid uh, connection agreements. So in Spain and Portugal, it's also very high for this. France, you can use this product. And also potentially we might use it in, in Italy. Um, and then next we're gonna move on to a brand new product. Actually, the, the second product that is we're releasing here at Inner Solar, and that is uh, AC coupled inverter. So it's a 10 kilowatt, five through 10 kilowatt, as a new screen, which is touchscreen, uh, this is our first touchscreen inverter. And this is mainly used for retrofits and also for energy arbitrage. And uh, my friend Jordy later will explain the energy arbitrage, but it's a new market in like Belgium and Netherlands in the UK where you have the dynamic pricing loaded into the Solus Cloud where you can see your day ahead pricing. And you can actually, Use this just with a battery to make money. It's it's because you're buying energy at low prices and then you're selling it at high prices. And also, if you have, a, say, a 20 kilowatt uh, grid tight inverter or a 10 kilowatt grid tight inverter, you can add this on to give you energy storage. That's the simple uh, use of this product. Uh, 50 amp inputs and it's high voltage battery. So, and we shrunk it down and we reduced the price. So this is going to be one of the staples in the Solus uh, portfolio. Uh, next, we're going to move to the Solarator series. Excuse me, gentlemen. Stay with me. It's very busy here at InterSolar, so we're going to have to dodge and weave a little bit. So let's start on the end on the off-grid. So the one thing you need with an off-grid inverter is basically you need a stable product that doesn't never break. And that's what you get with our new uh, 5K 
single phase off-grid inverter. Now, all of the SolarAdor series have a um, specific things that are all in common. So you get a generator port and you get a backup port, right? Um, and then you get smart generator controls. And all of the SolarAdor series has that. Um, so the five kilowatt, this is also can be uh, AC coupled and then uh, you can stack them up to 10. Um, and then all the rest, you can stack up to six. So this is our single phase three through 8K. We are some news on this. We're gonna increase that 8K up to a 10 kilowatt single phase hybrid. Uh, this is mainly, this is very, very popular uh, in Romania, in Italy, in uh, Netherlands, single phase markets, right? The UK, uh, where we uh, pretty much have about 50% of the market there. Uh, this is going to be the very, very staple product. I, I keep saying staple, but that it is this product right here. This is one of our main products that we spent a lot of time year after year. We started with the uh, RHI. Uh, 4G, 5G, S5, and and now we're finally to the S6, uh, and then we have an S6 Plus, which is this product. So, and the main thing that we added is that generator uh, backup, generator and backup feature, which is used in those grid outages, which is really important now because we just saw in Spain and Portugal that they completely lost power, and I was there in Barcelona at the same time, so I lost power. <laughs> Was with my mom too. So, um, yeah, these products here, as we move down, I want to show you the 8 through 15. This is a really cool product. This is a three phase, right? I think one of the only ones on the market right now, there's, there's maybe one other competitor that has an 8 through 15K uh, parallel up to six, so up to 90 kilowatts, but it's low voltage battery because why do we want low voltage connections on? Uh, products below 20 kilowatts because low voltage is still 30% cheaper than high voltage. That's it. It's low voltage is also safe voltage, 48 volts, 48 to 52. And then you have galvanic isolation between the battery and the inverter through a transformer. <clears throat> so yeah, this is also coming across Europe. We just released it this year, eight through 15. You could, you could stack LV batteries on it has that generator port. It has that smart port. It's a great inverter. Honestly, the, our customers that finally started using this, they love this inverter. So, um, and then again, this is mainly uh, used in South Africa because it's single phase, right? Single phase 12 through 16. This is going to get bumped up to 18 kilowatts at the end of the year. And also in, in Ukraine and uh, other territories right now that really need a huge backup power uh, for single phase and that's this product 12 through 18k so again all the same stuff backup port generator smart controls that's in this product right here and <clears throat> moving on to the 12 through 20k 12 through 20k this is three phase this is when we move to the hv right so hv battery on um, pretty much what we're doing on 20 20 kilowatts and above we're going to be hv below that we're going to do low voltage right and so this also can stack times six, so 120 kilowatts. It also has a backup port. It also has a generator port. It, mainly this product is sold in like Germany. It's sold in the Sweden, Denmark, Finland, Norway, uh, the UK also. And it's quickly becoming one of the most popular products in our portfolio. Um, we actually didn't realize it was going to be so popular, but uh, people love this product. It's, it's stable. It's it, it's like the 10 kilowatt, it's got four MPPTs, uh, but this one has 20 amp inputs. And most of our products now all have 20 or 21 amp inputs because uh, all the new panels now are coming out, 16, 17, 18, 19 amps. Um, so I'm not gonna show you the 125K hybrid today. That's gonna be tomorrow, but I will show you the 50K hybrid. So come and check it out. Excuse me, guys. So. This is the 50 kilowatt hybrid. I just talked to the South African uh, uh, pr uh, country manager. He's already sold over 400 of these within like four months. This, this product is on fire right now, actually. We can't even build enough. So 50 kilowatts, again, a solar radar series. 
So it's got that generator port, right? It's got that generator, it's got that backup port. So, and I didn't mention before, the backup port you can do in parallel. So if you can do six in parallel, you can do 300 kilowatts in backup, right? It's not just charging and discharging, it's also the backup port. So uh, you can be very flexible with this in a lot of different environments. If you're doing uh, data centers or agricultural, uh, other things of that sort. Um, next, we're going to quickly move on to uh, 25 through 36 commercial inverters, right? Watch out, Charles. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, we have a, in Europe, we'll sell the 40 through 60K, but we do have a 37.5K for Brazil. Uh, this is, uh, we've taken our old 50 through 60K and we've shrank it down. We reduced the weight uh, from 54 kilograms down to about, I think, 36 or 37 kilograms. We've increased the inputs up higher to match the panels. You can see on the wall, 21 amps. And uh, we've added uh, another RS-45 port. And I haven't talked about that yet. So let me, let me pause on that because all of our new inverters have two RS-45 ports. And our customers have been asking for so many, so much time now, uh, please add one more. And we were like, why do you want one more? And so they say, well, we connect to a building management system or an energy management system, or we want to see it on our do it yourself thing that we want to have separately. But we also want access to Solus Cloud because you can do firmware updates or control the inverter and, or turn it off or whatever you want to do with your inverter. And so that's why we added another RS-45 port. And then on all of our new S6 commercial inverters, we added Arc Fault 2.0, which is an IEC standard. It's a new standard. It's a better Arc Fault, in my opinion. Um, and all of our new ones have that option to add on. <clears throat> and then 25 through 36K. This one is going to change the way it looks. It's actually going to look like this one, but we're going to change the display. But this is the one we're releasing uh, this year. 25 through 36K, also 21 amps, and we reduced the weight, uh, so it's, it's actually quite light. I think it's 25 kilograms, so one person can lift it on the wall and install 36 kilowatt. But you could never say that five years ago. They would be triple the weight. So um, what's next? Uh, we're going to go around and see our large commercial inverters, and then we're going to hand you off to Jordy. All right? So come over here. Oh, there's so many people there. Uh, actually, I want to pause and go up here real quick. This is our weather station. We finally have our own weather station. Uh, so <clears throat> on the wall, and then there's actually another box for collecting the data and sending it into the inverter or sending it into uh, our new S4 data logger, which is on the stand here today. And that's, we have a new commercial data logger. So new weather station, uh, it's going to do wind, it's going to do irradiance, it's going to do humidity. Uh, I can't actually remember them all. There's a lot of sensors built into it. And then I've showed this before at other shows, but this is our brand new. We just released it. Uh, it's already being sold uh, up in the Nordics. We just released it in the UK, S680 through 125K. It has that ArcFault 2.0. It has more MPPTs because previously on our older version, we had six MPPTs on the 80K, and then we had eight MPPTs and it wasn't flexible enough for customers. So we needed more because they wanted more flexibility with more uh, roof azimuths. So we've upgraded that. Um, and then we added a lot of features on this one. And I wanna, it's also on, on this one over here, if you can pan over here and look at the 150K. So I'll talk about this feature. We added within this inverter, you can, Instead of using an external power manager, you can just use that inverter or this inverter as a master. And then you can connect up to nine more PV inverters up to it and then control the export from that one inverter. So all you really need to do, say you want to have a hundred and um, one megawatt system, you buy 10 hundred kilowatts, you buy one meter, just one meter, which is really affordable. I think it's one or 200 euros or British pounds. And then 
you have export limiting and then you have a one megawatt site. It's, it's, it's extremely affordable it, and it's a great product. So, um, and then behind me, I love this product. So this is a 150 kilowatt inverter. <clears throat> one of the biggest ones on the market right now. It's 400 volt, still 400 volt, like all our commercial inverters. Um, but the really, really amazing thing is, is it's got the smart DC switches on it, right? So on the smart DC switches, it's it's really it's really great what it can do. So previously on most inverters, if you had a ground fault during the day, that that ground fault, if it's if it's enough current, can actually damage the inverter, and you cannot protect against it. But with these smart DC switches, you can you can isolate when when the inverter senses overcurrent on the IGBT, it isolates the DC switches and and opens up on the AC relays. So it protects against that ground fault, which we never had before. But on top of that, we've added over temperature sensors. So if you get over temperature sensor for any reason on your DC inputs, or if you get reverse current, reverse polarity, because you actually put them in, boom, the switch opens up really fast within like 10 or 15 milliseconds. So that's that. And also you can parallel them like I talked about before. And I actually, I forgot to mention, we have this new feature called unbalanced, which is spreading across Europe. So if you need to inject into the grid, um, or if you want to inject to zero, but it will inject unbalanced. So it'll say on 100K, it can do 40K on one phase, and then 40K on another phase and 20K on another phase. So that's the unbalanced feature that, we're, that we've added to our S6 range. 